M. Brock Lesnar. Superstars look geared up, ready to go. This Dallas crowd is coming unglued in anticipation for this one. I'm not a superstar. I'm an ass kicker. I am Brock Lesnar. That's it. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Looking to be in great shape here. It doesn't appear as though any damage has been done. What are your thoughts on The Undertaker? The Undertaker knows how to take care of business like no one else. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Quick thinking to avoid that. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie. He's wild in there. It's pretty obvious just from looking at him that Brock Lesnar is one of the most finely conditioned athletes in WWE. Probably ever. Yeah, he looks like he's been cut from stone, Michael, doesn't he? I mean, six foot three, almost 300 pounds of pure muscle. 
And it's no illusion. Brock really does have power. That's second to none. Brock Lesnar is a monster. Boy, he just got laid out. He may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Look out! The multiple power bomb. The end is near. And he'll never be the same after that. You know, on top of the raw power of Brock Lesnar that you mentioned, his technique, especially on the ground, is also fantastic. If he gets you on the mat and in a submission lock, forget about it. And it's The Undertaker, able to break free. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. A suplex. Oh, out of nowhere. Wow, what a reversal by Lesnar. Yeah, I know they call him the Beast, but that was just beautiful. That unparalleled groundwork of the Beast is a large part of what made him a champion in college. You've got to be good on the ground at that level, and Brock was the best. Still is, in fact. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been ringside for every Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, and I can honestly say that this one looks to be among the best of all time. A counter by the dead man. Oh, you gotta respect Undertaker's cat-like quickness. He can pounce at any time. Lesnar looks to be finally feeling the effects of this attack. How we like to say Brock Lesnar brings the pain. And boy, is he doing just that. You know, WWE history books are filled with stories of The Undertaker's apocalyptic destruction. One of the biggest chapters is surely from the hell. Brock Lesnar, what a crafty maneuver. It's hard to match the talent we're seeing up and down this entire Hell in a Cell card. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been ringside for every Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, and I can honestly say that this one looks to be among... Oh my God, what a move from Brock Lesnar. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. King, you mentioned it before, we talk at great lengths about The Undertaker's decades of destruction and dominance at WrestleMania. Let's also remember a match he made famous that helped put an end to many a rivalry, the casket match. Oh my gosh, do you remember Undertaker versus Undertaker from SummerSlam 94? How can I forget? I mean, that's another famous rivalry from the pages of WWE lore. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, bet big and lost big on his Undertaker. Not today, too fast. Cole, what's he got in mind? From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. No kidding, this is gonna need some serious medical attention. Well, we're on the move here. Brock Lesnar better shake it off quickly or who knows, folks. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business.
Folks, we're coming to you from Dallas, Texas, and we're just a few short miles from Reunion Boulevard, where one of the most historic buildings in wrestling history once stood. What a powerful slam! Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Wow, he can just put out so much offense. Whoa, whoa! And Brock Lesnar nails it. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. F5, Brock Lesnar's about to win again. Oh my gosh, what a vicious F5 for Brock Lesnar. Lesnar's going to end it with the F5 right there. Yeah, Lesnar with the F5 with authority. Shoulders down. This could be it. Count, two. Ruth, count. I think if I had to pick two, he did it. What a huge win. And here's some highlights from the matchup. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. Here's your winner, Brock Lesnar. Big win for Brock Lesnar. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. And that carnage that we just saw is a lot of the reason why you don't see many Hell in a Cell matches, as we just witnessed. They're incredibly dangerous, folks.